In 1804, the Haitian Revolution marked the end of slavery. Today, may the Haitian people mark the end of exile and coup d'etat, while peacefully we must move from social exclusion to social inclusion. Problem na c'est exclusion. Solution c'est inclusion. Tout haïtien sans parti pris parce que tout monde c'est monde. Somos los representantes del grupo de los médicos que empezaban aquí en Haití, en la Universidad de la Fundación Aristide, en el 2001. Le decimos al presidente bienvenida y que mientras que él estaba en, Af en África, estábamos aquí estudiando, allá, allá en Cuba estudiando, ahora estamos aquí en Haití trabajando. It was clear throughout our time in South Africa that once back, it would be to reopen the university and to continue forward. The earthquake just revealed what everyone knew in terms of the critical needs for healthcare. So when we came back in March 2011, the very next day, we started meeting with folks. We found a lot of like-minded people to really join together. With their assistance, we were able to really start in September 11. It was clearly the right thing to do at the right time. UNIFA was established back in 2001, and it was clear that the need for higher education was just a burning need in the country. And so we started the university and started first with the medical school. So by 2003, we had 247 first and second year students here at the campus at Carade. In 2004, there was political problem in Haiti, and I taught that the university will not happen anymore. Coup at the end of February, February 28th, that first week of March, we had 247 students who were still in classes. The students were forced off the campus and the space was, was taken over as barracks, as military barracks. It just seemed impossible in a country desperate for doctors that one of the first actions taken during the coup would be to expel students, to force them out, and to take it for such a violent purpose. Fortunately, we could go to Cuba to continue our study. So UNIFA's mission is to prepare doctors to care for the poorest of the poor in Haiti. There's only one doctor for every 10,000 Haitians. I think the numbers are even lower in rural Haiti because the majority of Haitian doctors historically have worked right in Port-au-Prince. In other provinces, there's not enough doctors, or we can say there's no doctors. UNIFA students come from all over the country. They're not just from the capital. And the idea is that they will be encouraged to return to the, to the communities they came from and practice there. You can see that with the young UNIFA students, that they, they're very much looking at their education through the eyes of their own communities. Secondly is to open the medical profession to everyone in the country. Traditionally, it's an exclusive group. You got to know somebody who knows somebody in order to get into the state medical school. We want to break down those barriers so that everybody has access to be a doctor. It population dans quelque soit couche liée gain accès pour étudier surtout monde qui sorti dans milieu défavorisé yo yo gain accès yo pour venir étudier là mais sans que pas gain passe pour qui sans que nous pas mettre en quel monde à côté mais tout monde gain accès mais surtout monde défavorisé qui pas gain en quel moyen pas en quel côté yo ka aller donc porte unifa li ouvri pour tout monde and thirdly, it's really to create a university space where young people can come forward in a safe environment, can interact with one another, with professionals, and start thinking critically about the country. Jean-Louis Jean-Audelet. I'm a student of UNIFA. 
qui est l'université de la Fondation Dr. Aristide. Éducation est importante parce que pour un pays développé, comment est-ce qu'on peut parler de développement sans avoir parlé d'éducation La principale source de développement, ou bien le point de départ, c'est l'éducation. We cannot go forward as a nation where the number one goal of our young people is to find a visa and to leave the country. We've got to work with our youth and provide them with the opportunities here. Before, we were thinking that we needed more doctors, doctors and doctors. But now, in the case of cholera, we see that we need more nurses in our country. Some doctors doesn't want to go far in the country to work. And in those places, we find nurses working with a big heart. It's what we really need. And so we said, well, you know, what would it take to start a nursing program? We had the teachers here. Again, we had a pool of students who were more than wanting and willing. And so it was decided that we could start. And they're there. There are about 70 of them. We've got now this first class, and we're going to progress. We've created a kind of a council of friends of UNIFA, and we had a first meeting in November. And right after the meeting, one of the folks that was there saying, well, you know, I can certainly donate the ceramics for the cafeteria and the windows. And so that was a commitment right on the spot that we got. And we are counting on those kinds of commitments as we go forward. So now we've got the medical part, we've got the nursing part, and we're looking. I mean, the need is great. And then beyond that, ultimately, there's room there for 5,000 students to be going to university. All of these things are possibilities if we can find the support. The most powerful statement or the most powerful accomplishment is the fact that we have a lot of the first and second year students who have come back and who are now teaching and part of the staff. It's exactly why you do something like this, to see the students come back and to hear them articulate why they've come back and why it's important for them to give back now to the same system that nurtured them, that trained them. The kind of formation we receive give us the big heart that we are looking for in those students too. Je suis vraiment à l'aise dans l'université. Je suis en pomme, espace la sain, salle spacieuse, on apprend bien, puis le professeur est qualifié tout. Oui, je suis à l'aise. Ah, je travaille dans le moment ça, pour nous quitter dans 10 ans, 20 ans, 30 ans, 50 ans, nous avons un gros, mais vraiment un gros héritage pour la population haïtienne.